Welcome back, legends. Benny Crisp checking back in for part two of the Northwest Island adventure with the boys from Back to Basics. There's uh, a bit of nature in this one, so buckle up. straight through the iron. Camped up on the other side there, because this is the side that usually gets battered by the winds. You can tell that the scrub's a little bit more bent over than it is where we're camping. But there's a speck of wind blowing at the moment. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna head straight up the beach here. I suppose there's a few turtles that have kind of come up and resting after their long journey to see if we can see a few of them, see if we can see some sharks or anything else swimming around in the shallows. Today's going to be an epic day again. Five in a row, I think. Every day, I try to get these big sea eagles that are leaving on film. Every day, they just have to leave me. Every second of every day, there's an opportunity to see something that's documentary level nature spectacular like just then i saw the biggest sea eagle just fly out about this far above the ocean and it's just like a big mirror and then i have a look at this you know that my footprints are the only footprints on this side of the entire island do we have to go on <laughs> So I've just packed the whirly bird up. I'm gonna grab myself a bit of snacks and sit out on the tip of Northwest to have breakfast. This place is absolutely unbelievable. I know I keep saying that, but. Look at where I am. This sunrise was definitely one for the ages. As I was taking it all in, uh, something moved in the water beside me. <clears throat> I can't believe this. I don't know if you can see, but you're definitely able to see on the drone footage. That there is a massive sea turtle greeting the day alongside me. This was pretty special. What happened next truly blew me away. She kind of swam over, popped her head out of the water, and we made eye contact for about 20 seconds. Then she just settled back in, and then we enjoyed hanging out together watching the sunrise for the next 10 minutes. Just as I thought it couldn't get any better, out of nowhere, a second turtle swam up, just as a white tip reef shark chased a fish under the rock spit that I was standing on. I was uh, contemplating a swim actually, but I don't know, maybe the shark, maybe the other turtle, something spooked her and uh, she continued on her way. Just do things you want, try new experiences, go somewhere you've never been, take a photo of it. <laughs> All right, so I've been up for the sunrise every morning since we've been here. Um, this one was probably the s second best. Number one and number two were just incredible. I walked around this side of the island and just been swarmed by birds, sea eagles, everything came out here and had, I'm sure you've seen my little turtle friend at the top. And that was an incredible morning again. Man, if you could just rinse and repeat each day out here, like this is what I imagined paradise was supposed to be. Come 
just to really look because we've stumbled across. Hey! Hey! Hey there. Morning, jungle man. What's going on, Chubby? Hey there. Brings you to this fine island. Well, we just thought we'd come for a morning stroll. They say that uh, if you win the morning, you win the day. So. I've heard that too. Yeah, I thought we'd come and make the most of it, have a bit of a stretch, get bendy. While those two were limbering up, I decided to head back to camp. I haven't said anything to you guys, but I, uh, I actually lost a GoPro on day one, just diving out the front. I uh, kind of made it my mission on the island to find it quite unsuccessfully so far. Yeah, so I've decided that I'm gonna go for an early morning swim. Try to find my GoPro again. <laughs> it was day three on the hunt unsuccessfully. But, God, it's a gorgeous morning. Let's head all the way out to the roof sedge out there. I'm gonna drop off this. Well, I kind of searched the ground that I think that I dropped it on. God, wish me luck. There was a lot of ground to cover, so I figured I'd chuck the drone up for a look beforehand, which was a good idea, because we found a turtle or two and even a few big dinners, I mean fish. So, so the spear was coming on this search. Uh, unfortunately, we found a few fish that would look at me like dinner. Meet um, a friendly neighborhood tiger shark. And look at that, swimming in the bottom left, exactly where I'm about to jump in. Wish I'm about to jump off and go for a swim down that way. Which is the direction that I lost the GoPro. Uh, Northwest, we're like 500 meters back that way. It's quite a long. Quite the only long... problem with the reef fingers out front is that there was a lot of them. No, like, I mean, heaps. <laughs> could have been in any of these reef fingers. Over the last few days, I swear I've searched them all. Found Nemo and his mates. Squidward's chilling in the sunbeams. I must have spent hours searching for this GoPro. The upside of that though, is I found a few interesting things along the way. Like this guy. I'd stumbled across a resting tawny nerf shark. After swimming along for ages, he decided he'd have enough of me and continued on his merry way. Up next, we came across one of the oldest restaurants on the reef. This right here is a turtle cleaning station. Those big divots in the rock have been carved out by hundreds of years of turtles resting there to be cleaned. This is one of the coolest symbiotic relationships on the reef. Sorry for ruining the spa day, ladies. That dive was incredible, but still no GoPro. No luck with the GoPro. To get a few fish to have a snack on for dinner, which is all right. So, to lift the spirits, we did the obvious thing. And went and played with some sharks. It was epic. It's crazy to think that this is like one kilometer from where we were just in the water. There were literally sharks everywhere. It was 
probably harder to not get a shark in your frame than it was to get five or six. This little guy right here is a remora, and that weird thing on his head is a suction cap. You'll usually find these guys cruising alongside big turtles or sharks or sometimes even big fish. They kind of eat the scraps that get left behind. This is a bit of a unique spot though. Fishermen for years have been disposing of fish frames here. And uh, these bronze whalers have associated the revving engine with food. Awesome. That's uh, that's uh, exactly what you want when you're about to go spear fishing later on. We actually thought about it for a hot second, but then something changed and the sharks, they fully heated up. It must have been shark week, because when we got back to camp, we were greeted by a giant hammerhead hunting stingrays about 100 metres from where we were sleeping. Just for a size comparison, that boat floating back there is 5 metres long. The boys would call this guy a very healthy Roger. He even had a sniff at our friendly neighbourhood tiger shark. Nature man, this place is full of it. And then just on cue, we were treated to another one of these. get a squid out there one day as mate. <laughs> Today, although it's such a beautiful morning, marks a very sad day. This is the last sunrise that we're gonna get here on Northwest Island. And I'm not gonna lie, it was a bit of a cracker. Honestly, there's a few things I can't wait to get back to. I'm starting to to grow this channel a lot more is one of them. Uh, I'm not really sure where this channel is going to go, but I'd like you guys to help me shape it. So any suggestions that you're waffling too much, just please drop it in the comments and uh, yeah, catch you legends next week. Woo! Uh, all right, so the boys have spotted some whales on the horizon. Worst case is just going to be a nice sunset sail. Best case, we get surrounded by whales that are jumping. The whales uh, were playing a bit hard to get and were further, a lot further out than expected. But then, on the horizon, we spotted the spouts glowing against the sunset. When I finally got over to them, I thought they'd all dived. What happened next blew me away.
I've never seen this before, but if you have, please let me know. The, uh, the spray just hit the sun right with shimmering rainbows. Yeah, shimmering rainbows. Are you kidding me? Correct me if I'm wrong, but due to there being no calves, I'm assuming that this was a bull run. A group of young males chasing a hopeful mate. Wow. I don't know about you, but I certainly enjoyed that. And just like that, I dive back into the depths. So yeah, as I am. <laughs> Long shot, but uh, told you we'd see well. Like nine of them as well. It's bloody one of the most epic little whale sessions that I've had the pleasure of filming. Now, we will drink this in last, last night in Northwest, unfortunately, but God, it's been a ripper trip. Got some epic content. And uh, yeah, hope you enjoy. G'day, Strick from Back to Basics here. Now, the giant trevally are one of the best sports fish you can target here in Australia. They're big, they're powerful, and they smash top water lures, which is why I as always, uh, most of the spear fishing on this trip will be across at the Back to Basics channel. A lot of other adventures went down on this trip and uh, yeah, they're worth checking out. Big shout out to Captain Piper for keeping us all safe and in line. Hey, what's going on, dummy? Boat is going out for the last fish, eh? Yeah? We get a bit, of, a bit of seafood before we get going. <laughs> what, a big fish? Big jumping fish! Benny, Chris, videographer extraordinaire. <laughs> and incredible Spiro. Look at that. That's an absolute donkey of a red emperor. <sighs> wow. Well done. <laughs> you got to be stoked with that. And I was stoked with that. Oh, also, I found that GoPro. It was lying right here. Still had battery left in. That's what I'm filming. On, so, what fairy tale ending to the trip of a lifetime. Eh? We then uh, got in our private seaplane and then sailed straight off into that sunset. Who am I kidding? We caught the barge. It's the best part. <laughs> and that's all she wrote, folks. Another epic week. Nine days. Well, I consider it to be one of the best places on earth. Um, tune in, subscribe to the channel, like this video if you can, and um, I guess I'm just gonna drink this sunset in and I'll see you next time.